So something really cool that is available on the Google Classroom app is Student Selector. So if you have your personal device, if you have an iPad, you can download the Google Classroom app onto your phone, which a lot of you already do, and you actually can use it to select students that you wanna call on to answer questions in class. And here's how you do that. I'm in one of my Google Classrooms, and down at the bottom I have the option for people. So I'm gonna click on that. Once I do that, up at the top on the right-hand side, I have the four little squares. Three of them look like squares, one of them looks like a diamond. And I'm going to click on that, and it's gonna take me to the student selector. It's gonna tell me how many kids are enrolled in the class. So I have 20, and so far none of them are picked. I also can see that so far I have zero picked and that there are zero absent. And it's going to pop up a, a kid at random, a student at random. And so if I want to select that student, then I can hit next. So I call on that student, then they finish answering, I hit next. Now it's going to move that student over into the picked column. Let's say I get to the next student and they're absent today. So I'm going to hit absent. It's going to put them in the absent column. They are not going to be back in the rotation to get called on today. I've got the next student. I'm going to call on them and hit next. Then maybe the next student I'm not ready to call on yet. They're not in the classroom at the moment. They're not quite ready for this question. I want to call on them later so I can click call later. It keeps them in the rotation then I can continue to call on students, mark students absent if they um, are absent, and I can go through those, and you can see that it is changing my numbers up here at the top each time. If I wanna see kind of who I've picked and who I haven't after a while, I can just click up here at the top on any one of these numbers, and it's gonna open up a pop-up screen. I can see the students that have not been picked, the students that have been picked, the students that were absent, and I can keep going through that. Once I have gone through all of the students and I have picked all of them for today and given each one of them an opportunity to answer, then it says that's the end, I've selected every student, and then you can actually start again if you need to and if you've been through every student for the day. So you can see how that works. You can also reset it at any time. So if you have the Google Classroom app on your phone, definitely check out the student selector as a way to keep track of students that you've called on in class.